Hey, what's going on there, weird Paul? Yes, indeed. Now this is uh, this is House Flipper. House Flipper. It's a uh, it's a game in which you uh, you purchase old rundown houses and then you uh, fix them up and flip them. Isn't that fun? Isn't that neat? Look at this. I'm about to plant a bush. Whammos! Planting the bush, but in that dolphin flip. Oh yeah. His flippers, a flippers, a faster than a lightning's. You remember that guy? The show was named after him. He didn't. He didn't do a whole lot. That flipper. He did not. Snake Trapper, what's going on over there on the Facebook? How you doing, my friend? Good to see us. Oh, now I got me a hose. Wah! Wah! I'm watering the lawn. Water the lawn! Is this better than barn finders? Oh, smooches for you is pants o'clock. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Is this better than barn finders? Manifold closet, it's about the same, really. It's about the same. It's it's a very similar type of game, to be honest with you. This is my house. Oh, what? Oh! My pictures ain't loaded in for some reason. Well, that ain't no good. Louie Louie, good to see you, my friend. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Oh, none of my pictures are loaded up. Well, that's a bunch of garbage. I was going to show you guys all my cool pictures. But now they're just some sort of weird, like, glitch art things. And that ain't what I wanted. Oh, well. But anyway, you go to, like, the place over here. And you can, like, buy houses and things, right? Hoser. That's right, hoser. And you get these jobs. Uh, like this one. See, the, the people that make this game, they live in, like, uh, Sweden or something like that. I'm at about 10 hours there. Oh, you've been enjoying the heck out of Barn Finder? Oh, that's awesome. Manifold Kaiser, that's great. I, I do I do really enjoy that Barn Finders game. It's really fun. I just made it to, uh, well, I don't want to spoil it. Well, you're 10 hours in. So, uh, there's a whole, whole part where you, like, go into a UFO and stuff like that. That's where I'm at right now. So, what's this? See, these guys, they're from, they make these games, they're from, like, Sweden or some garbage like that. One of them countries. So, all the names and stuff are Swedishy names, like Tomas Jimfsushki, something like that. Sitar, oh my goodness, I didn't know you was doing the things. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Where's the hooray button? Do the hooray button. Hooray! Thank you very much. I don't know if you could hear that. There we go. Calicot, how you doing, my friend? Good to see us. Maybe uh, get a job at the cannery. Could be. Could be. Peach Ops. Oh, that, that TV that you posted looks like the pictures that are on my wall. Merry Christmas. Yep, with the first comment. The first comment. So I don't know if you can see what it says. Uh, press to dispose. Boom. Wouldn't that be great if that's how... That's how easy it was to clean stuff up. And then there's weeds. Gotta get rid of the weeds. Goodbye, weeds. Gone. Swoosh. Swoosh. Cause you're the one who raided me. Go Aerosmith Weird Paul on this whole this whole thing. I love it. Love it. Thank you for the raids. A sitar, I hope your stream was great. A sitar, because you're the one that raided me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, and now, all right, we gotta wait. It's been a while since I played this game. Where's the oh, there it is. Look at this, Klebaski. You enjoy that? I <laughs> could check this out. See, there is a game called Lawn Mower Simulator. But you don't need that. You can buy this already. Oh, you're the one who raided me. There we go. Look at this. Cutting the grass, baby. Cutting that grass. Oh, what is that? Some sort of plant? Yeah, now we're doing some virtual mowing of the grass. There we go. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the mini-map up on the top right. But it shows you where the uh, the grass is tall. That would be a handy feature. That would be a handy feature. Oh, I'm running over anything it'll let me run over. Weird Paul. Running over everything <laughs> that it will let me run over. How you doing, Paul? You doing alright? 
Manifold Kaizen, hope everybody's doing good. It's a lovely Tuesday. Oh, Calicut. Rupert Sako features the SWO as just two swoops. That's right. That is exactly right. Oh, my goodness gracious. Thank you so much, Calicut. Smooches for you. Smooches for you. Hope everybody's doing pretty good. It's Tuesday. Uh, that means that I am here doing the things. And it also means that I survived the hurricane. I don't know if you guys saw, but there was a uh, big old hurricane that hit uh, the Gulf Coast area, which is, uh, you know, around about where I live. What's with the graffiti? You got to clean the graffiti. You got to clean the graffiti, Bubba variant. Good to see you, my friend. So we did okay. Had a rough day, to be honest, but I'm ready for some sock cop cheer. Man, if, oh, guys, if I could bring any sort of joy to your day, then uh, my life is a success my friend I'm sorry you had a bad day today today was a good day for me it was all right I don't know what made it good but it was okay but I've definitely had my uh, my fair share of the bad days lately so man folk guys and I completely understand where you're uh, where you're coming from so hopefully hopefully we can turn it around a little bit let's see or at least at least distract you for a little while whilst I mow this grass I got a five in my change as a one yesterday oh see tall look at that Oh, Sitar right there winning the game. Sitar winning the game. Alright, where's my... There we go. The, is it the garden hose? No, what do I use to clean this stuff? I forget. Yeah, so there was a hurricane. Luckily, well, luckily for me, not so luckily, for uh, places such as uh, Louisiana. But we did okay. We came out of it. We came out of it. So it's all good. It's all good. In the sock cop's hood, yes and DDOs, as the as the kids say. I'm just I'm just trying to stay hip with the kids. Am I staying hip with the kids? Yeah, so you got power washing simulated too, except this is uh it's not quite the same. Not quite the same. But see, you just go to these places and they tell you to uh to do some stuff and you you walk around and do it. It's a nice chill, nice chill game. For whatever reason, this game's been out for like I don't know, maybe three, four years, something like that. I always seem to be playing this game around Christmas time. That seems to be the time that I'm able to, to play this. So this reminds me, it, it makes me feel like it's Christmas time, even though it's like the opposite of Christmas time right now. Techmanak, how you doing, my friend? Bubba Variant, Pants O'Clock, Klebowski, Sitar, Weird Paul. Hope everybody's doing good. We're about to get rocking and rolling. On the uh, on the actual show here, I just like I'd like to start a little early, and you know, do a little lawn mower and a power washing or something like that, and just uh, and see what's going on. Some people have said that they enjoy just just this thing, me playing the video games and jibber jabbering with people, and that's fun. I don't know, I could do that. That's okay, Tech Manac. No problem. Here's your Christmas present. I resubscribe. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Can we get some applause? I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. There we go. I know watching a sock play video games is not everybody's cup of tea, but uh, it's fun. So I hope you enjoy it. What in the world? Oh, okay. It's 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. You can hear it? Oh, good. Oh, with the oh, what was that? Yay! Oh, I need to. Oh, dead gummit. Hang on. I need to add my alerts thing. I'd love to know how you're playing, given that you don't have any arms. Klebowski, that's a very good question. This is why I can't be on the camera, uh, and at the same time, and and talking at the same time because I have to use the weenus and the mouth flaps in tandem uh, to be able to do the things. It's it's not easy, and it ain't pretty. Well, on Twitch game is it? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true, Shira. Then it's we can, we can, yeah. The weenus and the math flaps are used in conjunction, but it it doesn't look good, so I can't have the camera on. I have a sub goal on my screen, which isn't crazy. That is for a gift for Heck Morning Scar underscore TMA, the guy that does all the amazing artwork. Oh, that's cool. That's fantastic. I love that. Where's my dad go? I'm trying to do a thing. Look at this guy. He can't ho he can't hold a uh, thing very still. Look how he holds it in a circle. Isn't that weird? 
Isn't that weird? All right, where's the browser? Okay, there we go. And then alerts. Whammos, there we go. Merry Christmas just subscribed. There it is. Now we got the alerts going for the video game. I'm learning. I'm learning Club Josh TV. Thank you so much for hosting the gimmicks. Manifold Kaiser. Just subscribe with the Twitch Prime. Ooh, I love it. I love the primes. Suzanne! Hey, watching over there on the things. Over there on the YouTubes. There we go. You should drop the uh, old school opening when you come in. So, ooh, I should. I should. No, code. This is a uh, this is a game called House Flipper, in which you uh, you go around you flipping houses like you buy these properties and you fix them up and then you sell them. And things. It's pretty fun. It's pretty neat. Let's go into this place and see what's going on, and then we'll get started. Wait, it won't let me go in. Oh, this is a okay. Well, they did it like a DLC, which is the downloadable content, which is basically we've already sold you the game, and now we're going to sell you a part of the game that you already bought for more money. And, uh, and it's called Garden Flipper. So they added, like, gardeny things to it. So it won't let me go into this house. But anyway, it's a fun game. I like games like this. I'm not, uh, you're not gonna see me play a whole lot of games in which there is, uh, you know, like, shooting, especially other people's. They keep selling the same game, too. Yeah, they do. They do. They do, you know, and sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it is. If you're having a good time, then that's good. But sometimes it's like, come on, really? You're gonna you're gonna make me pay another ten Christian dollars for this horse armor or some garbage like that? You know what I mean? Get out of here with that. Untitled Goose Game. Just another blowhard. I did play that one. I did play that one. I don't have it on the computer, but I had it. Uh, I had the Xbox Game Pass gimmick for a, for like a month or so. And I played it on there. It was pretty fun. They should sell the entire game to you. Or not. That's true. What's his face? But what not? Good to see us, my friend. All right, let's get rocking and rolling here. We're cleaning up the thing. Somebody did have a big party here. Bubba variant. Look at that. Goodness gracious. What kind of party was that? I don't remember those kind of pizza parties when I was in school. Look at that. Ooh. What do I do with this? Whoa, look at... Look. Look at my guy. He's got his hands held out like he's... Like, <laughs> like he's doing some sort of thing. Oh, anyways. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's get rid of this. Where's the go away button? Where's the go away button? Oh, there we go. Exit the game. Are you sure you want to exit the game? Shift to... Uh, save and exit. There we go. Save and exit. There we go. Now we got it. I'm not in a good mood. And I'm feeling... And I am betting Sock Hot will make me feel better. Well, just another blowhard, that's a lot of pressure. But I'll do the best that I can. <laughs> I will do the best that I can. Yes. In a D. D. O's. Yes, indeed O's, my friends. Good to see you. Glad you're here. You. you had a couple like that back in your heyday? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for hosting Weird Paul. Hey, Weird Paul, I appreciate it. See, that's how you know Weird Paul is a professional. He doesn't he, he didn't host during the pre-show. Cause just in case somebody was was coming along, it's like, hey, what is this? He waits till the actual show starts to do the thing. Look at that. That's that's why you're partner, my friend. Weird Paul knows how the game is played. Any whales with a case of front and butt today? We can only hope. We can only hope. Oh my goodness. What's his face, Mc what not? Now hosting. Thank you so much, my friend. Smooch is for you. Smooch is for you. Hey, what in the world? Why is my green screen all catty wampus? Fix the green fix the green screen. You gotta be coming over here. Looking like some sort of hayseed. I was over there power washing, everybody was loving it. And now we go to the actual show. And you and you make me look like a buffoon. Made me look like a buffoon. The New York Post had an article and video of a rat playing the harmonica. Just, just a blowhard, a rat playing the harmonica? I'm going to be out of a job. <laughs> I'm going to be out of a job. KP, good to see us, my friend. Good to see us. Hope everything is going fantastic. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the uh, about the hurricane. Let's get those 11 followers, that gummit. That's right, weird Paul. I'm, I'm, only, I'm only 11 followers away from 500. And I think I'm preaching to the choir here because I'm pretty sure... You guys already all follow me, so there's not a whole lot, uh, you know, to be done, really. But 
I do like a nice round number. I'm not I'm not one of those guys. I don't get I don't get caught up in numbers and things like that. I don't even look at the number. This is one of my favorite things about Twitch is that if you if you don't want to, you do not have to see how many people are watching, which I love. I love that. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Because, you know, it's a double-edged sword. If you, if you start seeing people come in, you're like, oh, look at that. Look at me. Hey, look how entertaining and great that I am. But then when the number starts to go down, you're like, oh, what am I doing wrong? What? Oh, oh no. The people don't like me no more. Boodly doodly do. You, you want me to subscribe and follow? You? I'm very needy. I never said I wasn't needy. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Never said I was not needy. I was knitted and then I became needy. And uh, and that's the way that it goes. So there we go. Yeah, you're supposed to follow. Well, I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to, but you know, you can. But I do like a nice round number. So you know, if you know a guy, or if you know nobody else's password, I'm not above that. I'm not. I'm not above you logging in with somebody else's password and and hitting the follow button. I mean, it's just the button. What can it hurt? What could it hurt? Good bread is needy. Just another blowhard. You just got yous. A sound effect, my friend. There you go. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So yeah, the hurricane. There was a hurricane. Hurricane are coming through. Happened. Uh, unfortunately, our poor friends in in Louisiana. I got a few friends that the. Uh, ooh, thanks for putting a smile on this old guy's mug. Calicot smooch views, my friend. <laughs> Not password theft, password borrowing. It's just password borrowing. Let's see what happens when that heart goes into the thing. Oh, well, bam, Klebowski. Oh, smooches for yous. Smooches for yous, Klebowskis. Thank you guys so much. Aww. Much appreciated. Did the Scorpions have a large concert on the Gulf Coast? Yeah, they did. The Scorpions did. Uh, they came and rocked like a hurricane. So, unfortunately, a couple of my friends that live in New Orleans have, uh, have been displaced. So, they're here uh, in my town hanging out for a while until they can get back on the on the thing so it's a, it's a bad situation it's a rough thing weird paul thank you so much for those 100 bits my friend oh yeah smooches for you and just another blow hard with the 12 bits oh my goodness gracious oh my goodness gracious my cup runneth over my cup runneth over Hooray! thank you so much feeling the love so i got a few friends uh not having a great time because of the hurricane but Old Sock Hop made it out okay. Old Sock Hop made it out okay. Bubba Variant also made it out okay. From uh, from what I believe, he lives somewhere around in this in this general area. Uh, we we've met uh, in real life a few times, so I think he's okay too. I think uh, I think most of the people that I know that live around here are doing okay. So it's good. We dodged a bullet this time. Dodged a bullet this time. It happens. It happens. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? It's Mother Nature. You know what I mean? The levees held in New Orleans, which is good. Some of the there was some place I forget where it was, some town. The levees uh, overfilled, but uh, so it's bad. It's bad news bears. Bad news bears. Not a good, not a good, uh, not a good situation. Big hurricaney uh, type of thing. But Sockop made it through, and Gadzooks and Lamb Biscuit made it through, didn't you, buddies? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Gadzooks and Lamb Biscuit made it through. I keep meeting to. Uh, to make a uh, Gadzooks and Lamb Biscuit t-shirt. And I haven't done that yet. Need to do that. One of these days. One of these days I'll do it. Where's the thing? There we go. Four and a half inches of rain expected tomorrow in the Bon Jovi State. Oh my goodness gracious. Oof. So it sounds like the uh, Led Zeppelin's Ruth. played the area as well. <laughs> P underscore shops. Thank you so much, my friend, for doing the subscribe and giving Mwah! smooches for you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So we're all doing pretty good. We uh we we kept power, which was the big thing. I was I was for sure that we were gonna lose power. I almost did a show on the on on Friday night because I'm like, well, I'm probably gonna not have power for like a week. So I almost did, but then I didn't. Oh, there's a hype train going on. Oh, is it level one or level five? Because there's no, there's no rhyme or reason with it. No rhyme. Or did you feel your washer with ice? I did see that viral post. I've never heard of that before. Pants o'clock. Thank you so much, my friend. Oh, yeah. Smooches for you. Pants o'clock. Hype train. Oh, level. Okay, there we go. No rhyme or reason, yo. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. But fish taco shaped like a fish. I did see that viral post. That seems like actually a pretty good idea. If you can uh, 
you know, if you got that much ice to fill up the thing. I was waiting for a live porch stream during the hurricane. I should have done that. I should have done that. But I didn't. Because <laughs> I don't, I'm a, I don't, you know, I, I'm not a very religious guy necessarily, but, I, but I'm but i sort of an existentialist. I live in the moment. And I don't really, uh, I'm like, man, all the times, I think, that would have been cool. I should have done that. That would have been a great idea. But I did not do that thing, whatever it was. You know, and that's a, that's that's part of my problem. Did you fill it with deviled ham? Oh, I wish. I wish. Oh, man, that deviled ham. It is so bad for you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not here to preach the health benefits of deviled ham by any stretch of the imagination. But that gum with that stuff is delicious. You ever had deviled ham? Oh, it's so good. It's just basically salt. Salt and dead pig. That's all it is. But it's so good. Any sort of deviled food. I think I think devil's food cake. I think uh, I think any sort of uh, any sort of food that has the word devil in it. I think the reason that they use that word is because that it is a not good for you, and b delicious. So there you go, Tinka. What's going on, my friend? Klebowski never heard of deviled ham. Oh my goodness gracious! I wish I had a. Do I have a picture of deviled ham? Ready? Don't you folks down south like boiled peanuts, Klebowski? First of all, it's racist. And second of all, yes, we do. <laughs> Very much. I love boiled peanuts. I get a hankering for boiled peanuts all the time. Oh, it landed right in the cup. Knocked out some of the triangles. Thank you so much, Louie Louie. Louie Louie. Boop, boop. Whoa, yeah. I love you so. Or something like that. Isn't that the words? I'm not sure. Devil that. See? Snake trapping those. Right in the cup. Salt cured country ham. All of those things. Yeah, now let me say, all right, let me find a picture of deviled ham. Put the deviled ham in the deviled egg spread, then fill the egg. Oh, yeah, that's how you do the uh, the deviled eggs thing with the thing. But then we also do another deviled eggs thing with uh, with no meat in it, in in which you just mix all the yolks of the things together with, with some other things. I don't know. I've never done that. I've never done that. Devil's food cake with ham and egg inside. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. The great and humblest. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. And also, Aww. and also, Hooray! and also, smooshes for use. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, let's look at. All right, let's look at deviled ham. I'm gonna find deviled ham. Deviled ham. Use the sound machine. Oh yeah, I forgot about the sound machine. Thank you so much, Weird Paul. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Louie Louie, thank you so much for those bits. Thank you so much for those bits. Oh, heck yeah. Love it. Love it, love it. Weird Paul, ah! I'm just happy. Weird Paul, can I go? I'm going to go into the sauna of seriousness for a second here. Klebowski, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Klebowski. Can we, can we get Klebowski a round of applause? <laughs> then it's all 999. Can we get the? Uh, can we get Dennis on nine 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 a digital toot? Can we get him a digital toot? Thank thank you so much. I appreciate that. Digital toot for you, <laughs> Dennis on nine nine nine. There we go. I made a sheet of flash tattoo with a deviled ham and deviled egg on. Did, oh, did you really? What's what's this Facebook? What the, you bet? Don't don't send it to me because I may get it tattooed upon me. I'm I'm in the process of working on some more tattoos, so don't send it to me. Send it to me. Don't send it to me. Because I may actually get it tattooed. All right, we're going into the song of seriousness for a second here. The song of seriousness, I would just like to... I would like to... Uh, to say... That we, that Weird Paul... Is a, uh, is a fantastic character. And I'm happy that he exists. And the fact that he exists... And the things that he makes... Uh, makes me very happy. And has uh, added to the world in a way that uh that a lot of people cannot say that they have added to the world that's all i want to say that's all i want to say thank you for being you weird paul you're a great fantastic guy great fantastic guy and thank you for thank you just thank you for being you my friend thank you for being you dad gum it's like a sauna in here god give me a <laughs> smooch is for you as weird paul i'm just i'm such a I'm just happy you exist. All right, let me find let me find a picture of this deviled ham stuff. Here we go. 
All right. Hey, where's the thing? Whoa! Whoa, it's Rusty Kazoo time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do some Rusty Kazoo whilst I uh, prepare to regale you with images of deviled ham. Here we go. We should get matching tattoos, suck up. I've always wanted the little Debbie logo with horns and a tail that says little devil. Hashtag she made me fat. I will get a tattoo. You should. You guys don't know a whole lot about my tattoos, but I've got a lot of tattoos. Oh, it's harmonica time too. I will get a tattoo. Here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. I will get a tattoo without a second thought. Oh, wait. Oh, that was me. My bad. Whoops the days. I hit the wrong button. I will get a tattoo without a second thought. But if you give me a sticker, I've got so many stickers that I have not figured out where where to put because I'm like, well, once I put it somewhere, then it's going to be permanent. It's going to be there forever. It's going to be there forever. Yeah, there's, ta there's tattoos around in this in this area. When I was in third grade, Sean Gildea used to tease me by telling people that the little Debbie in my lunchbox was a naked lady. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. If I can find the lines, which I'm 99% certain I know the whereabouts of, I might accidentally send it to you. Yeah, do not do that. Do not do that. Please send it to me. Do not send it to me. What's this face make? What not? I would love to see that. I would love to see that. That's fantastic, Repo. Yeah, I mean, there. You know, there's some there's some tattoo area going on around there. Some tattoo area. All right, we got to do some Rusty Kazoo. Who, 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 uh, who requested that? Let me see. Rusty Kazoo... Requested by Weird Paul, and then just another blowhard requested some harmonica. I'm thinking about making a uh, making an album, and putting it on uh, on Bandcamp. Oh, so I, I want to do a whole album of kazoo and harmonica, and uh, and some jazz scatting. I like jazz scatting too, where I go like, you know, so, you know, something along the lines of like. You know, stuff like that. I think that would be pretty good. I think that'd be pretty good. All right, Rusty Kazoo, please. Oh, and bongos. That's right, Club Josh TV. That's exactly right. Can't forget about the bongos. I think I will, Tinka. I think I will. Mel Torme. That, hey, hey. You know what I'm talking about. There was a, a kid like that at school when I was a kid. Got his throat cut, but he survived. He's bald now, too. Has been for ages. It's not a good life. Self-inflicted. Sitar. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm going to play the harmonica and forget I read that. I mean, the, the Rusty Kazoo. Hey, me the Rusty Kazoo. Rusty Kazoo, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like uh, some sort of drug apparatus, but it is 100% not. <coughs> Pardon me. 100% not. And uh, it is a Rusty Kazoo. 100% real rust on this thing. I don't know if you guys think that I, like, painted it. Like it's some sort of thing. But there's real rust on this on this kazoo. I didn't know the, that it would happen, but it happened. Rusty kazoo. It tastes like pennies. Uh, it tastes terrible. Every time that I play it, I have to uh, brush my mouth flaps for at least 10 to 20 minutes after every show. But for you guys, I will endure almost anything because that gummit, I love you. Hand me that rusty kazoo. Hand me that rusty kazoo, that gummit. All right, thank you very much. Here we go. <coughs> Yes, the videos, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the videos. Rusty Kazoo. Rusty. Oh, I forget every dead gum time, and I dropped it. Oh, rewind. Where's? Oh no. Where's my kazoo? What happened to it? I dropped the kazoo, and it fell off the face of the planet. It fell off the face of the planet. Where did it go? All right, here we go. <laughs> I'll do the best I can. <gasps> Patooey 
guess that he also let's show the rest of the casino. Oh my goodness, what happened? What happened to the casino? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Oh my goodness, I don't know where it went. Anyway, whatever. All right, we're doing it. <laughs> you like a good trade wreck? All right, there we go. The dingoes ate your kazoo. Must have been. Must have been. Hey. Come on, green screen. Quit, quit ruining the illusion. <laughs> quit ruining the illusion, dead government. All right, now it's time for the harmonica. Now it's time for the harmonica. All right, here we go. Baby oh, you, oh my goodness gracious, here with the baby sock. Baby sock's in there having a having a field day, doing whatever it is that the, that the baby sock does. Here we go. Hope you had the te your tetanus shots. I don't think I can get tetanus. I don't think tetanus uh, can, uh, can do the things. I'm not sure. Sometimes all you got to say is, Oh, I don't even know what that means, but I love it. But I love it. Hand me that uh, that mouth organ, please. Mouth organ, please. Would you hand me the? Would you hand me the dead going mouth organ? I got it. All right, thank you. All right, here we go. Go to the scratch. I drop my harmonic. Hand me, hand me the backup mouth organ. Doppler effect. Yes, the videos, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Harmonica. I don't know what the deal is. I just keep losing musical instruments left and right, all over the place. I'm losing uh, musical instruments. All right, let's take a look and see. I want to show you. I want to show you this. Let's talk about that. Well, I think I think I may have done it, and I think I may have finished in enough time to where the the timer was still out on the rewind. I don't think it's available as of yet, which is good for me because I always forget about it. And I throw my things around, and then I lose them, and then I got, I got to find them again. It's a whole different deal. All right. Check this out. We're talking about deviled ham, ladies and gentlemen. Talking about deviled ham. Where is the button for the things? Doodly doodly do. There it is. No, oh, it's a rewind. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about deviled ham, deviled ham. Can I get a little devil ham music, Paul? <laughs> oh, pardon me. Deviled ham. Deviled ham. It's got, that's right, Louie Lou. It's got a lot of a sodium and it's got a lot of flavor that is yum deviled ham deviled ham it's it's a deviled ham recall i remember both of them <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good that it's all nine nine nine. Patua, yes in the video. Fish heads, fish there may be a few fish heads in the deviled ham. Who knows? Who knows? Here this is deviled ham, ladies and gentlemen. If you ain't if you if you don't know, I'm here to let you know this is deviled ham. This is what it looks like. It's got a picture of the devil. <laughs> and it's uh it's a can full of ham. And it's wrapped up in this paper stuff. And uh, and you can make a sandwich out of it. You can uh, you could do all th kind of things with it. It's, it's uh, not good for you. 
but it is tasty. It is tasty. Deviled ham. Apparently, there's a uh, there's a corned beef one. There's a corned beef. Where's the angeled ham? I'm not sure. I guess the <laughs> I guess the ham is has no interest in uh in getting saved. <laughs> something i'm not sure is that a howdy do i think i'm not sure it says mystery science theater 3000 tribute devil doll on etsy so i'm not exactly sure what that is sainted ham some holy ham oh holy ham would be pretty good i bet holy ham would be delicious sock tell my kids to go to bed oh my goodness gracious it is time to go to bed it is time to go to bed kp's kids it is time to go to bed my friends yes indeed look at that oh my goodness gracious look at the time all right everybody hey right, everybody all right we're gonna we're gonna pretend we're gonna pretend that uh that we're going to bed so we can trick kp's kids into uh into going to bed okay don't tell the kids don't tell the kids all right oh y'all oh it's so late well i guess everybody should go to bed Yep, it's time to go to bed, everybody, especially the children's, especially the children's time to go to bed. That's right. Let me tuck you into bed. Oh, tuck, 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 tuck. Yes, indeed. Smooches feels snug as a bug in a rug. Oh, look at you going to bed. Here we go. Oh, we're so tired. Going to bed. Everybody's going to bed. That's right. Going to Sleepy Town. Everybody's headed to Sleepy Town. Choo choo. All aboard the train to Sleepy Town. That's where we're going. I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes are closed. Are they in bed yet? Did they go to bed? All right, I think they're in bed. All right, good job, everybody. Round of applause. Excellent work excellent work we did it we did it we put the kiddos to bed we put the kiddos to bed need to watch this every night oh did, to help you go to sleep there you go kp i hope i hope that worked out i'm not sure i'm not sure oh wait look at this wait what is what is this it says uh you know how i just typed deviled ham hello again friends <laughs> deviled ham so we got underwood which that's the brand name it's underwood so that, that makes sense. Potted meat, yeah, canned, Hormel, Red Devil, there we go. Like Kirk Hammett. Why why is Kirk Hammett on the suggested things? That's the if you guys don't know, that's the guitar player for uh for Metallica. You guys know Metallica? Why is Kirk Hammett come up when you search for Devil's Ham? I don't know. I have no idea. Why does Why does Kirk Hammett come? They're in bed. Good. Okay. Good. That's fantastic. I'm glad. I'm glad. Is, oh, is he, is he the big Hambino? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay, Hammett, Hambino. Oh, okay, I get it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Sitar, thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, I don't know why Kirk Hammett shows something, but that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, deviled ham. Yeah, uh, it ain't good for you, but that gum, but it's pretty tasty. Because he's a salty meat treat. Could be. Could be. I don't know. That's ham tastic. Oh, I like that too. I like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the animal of the day. You guys ready to figure out the animal of the day? Did uh, I don't know if anybody wants to do a, uh, a question. Deviled ham recall. Oh, that was the clip. Okay, there we go. I see that. Thank you so much, Sitar, for doing it. Is it basically spam? It it's It's related to spam. It's related to spam, I would say, but I think it's tastier than spam. Uh, to me, I think it tastes better than spam, and spam's pretty good. Oh, there we go. Animal of the day have wings or gills. Ooh, there we go. Is it the uh, the pig the animal of the day? That would make sense. That would make sense if the pig would be the animal of the day, since I spent so much time talking about deviled ham. But we'll see. We'll just have to find out. We will just have to find out. What do you think, Rupert? Oh, yeah. Rupert's very excited because I put, uh, I rubbed some deviled ham on the screen before we started the show. That's why he's uh, cleaning the screen with such vigor. 
on this uh, evening. The fine sausages of Vienna. Yeah, it's way better than Vienna sausages. I'll give you that. I will give you that. Big Juice 330 did not. <laughs> I stole no. I stole. I did not steal your girlfriend over the uh, speeding ticket. No, would not do that. Would not do that. But, you know, you never know. Who knows? Hedgehog. That's a pretty good one. Camel. Ocelot. Some good questions. Some good uh, guesses coming in already. Some good guesses for Animal of the Day coming in already. So we'll find out what it is. You got, I don't know if you guys follow me on uh, like the social medias and things like that. I was told I needed to drive at a reasonable speed. That's exactly right. Just another blowhard. Please drive at a reasonable speed. Iguana. Canada the Geese. You know what? I saw some Canada the Geese the other day in a place that I don't normally see Canada the Geese. I wonder if they were displaced from the hurricane. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Trouser Snake. I'm not familiar with that one. Deviled Bison. Capybara. Osprey. Geese. Gr- yeah, geese are gross. Kirk Hammett. It could be Kirk Hammett, the animal of the day. It could be the Deviled, ha- Deviled Hammett. It could be the old Deviled Hammett. I don't know. This is uh, my good friend Bubba sent me that. This is not the VHS of the day. Can the animal of the day get rabies? Oh, that's a good question. Write that one down, Fish Taco. For later. That's that's a pretty good one. Murder Log. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, Merry Christmas. I got this Gilligan's Island VHS. Look at this. Gilligan's Island. Collector's Edition. And it's got the, it's got Mrs. Howell on the back. And that looks like... That is probably the worst picture of Mrs. Howell I've ever seen in my entire life. Focus on the... Would you focus on the picture of Mrs. Howell? I know. I thought it was a DVD at first, too. You need to paint that VHS to be rescued from Gilligan's Island. <laughs> it could be. It could be. Look at look at that picture of Mrs. Howell. Isn't that, isn't that scary? It looks like... She looks like mummified or something like that. That's terrible. Is Miss Howell the animal today? No, I don't think so. There's Mr. Howell. There's a uh, Ginger. I mean, Ginger, Ginger. There's a uh, Marianne and Professor, also known as the Rest. That's right, fish taco shaped like a fish. And then there's Gilligan and uh, the Skipper and the Skipper. So there we go. So this is a. Uh, it includes President Gilligan, the Little Dictator, and Gilligan goes gung ho. So there we go. I liked Bubba. He was informative. Bubba is very informative. Very informative. So he sent me, he sent me this VHS recently, and uh, and it was rewound. So that's just like a bonus one. That's just like a bonus thing. That doesn't. That's not the VHS of the day. In turn, was having a hard time finding Mrs. Howell headshot. Must have been Club Josh TV because that was terrible. That's a terrible. She looks like a like a mummy version. I crushed on Mary Ann so hard when I was a kid. Oh, Bubba, you and me both, my friend. Oh, pardon me. I heard they finally got a note in the bottle back that said, stay you where you are because people are crazy nowadays. Louie, Louie, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Who's the who's the guy that played Gilligan? What do you mean played Gilligan? This is a documentary. This is uh, this is actually the, uh, the precursor to the real world. I don't know if, pe- if many people realize this, uh, but there were seven castaways, and the real world is seven strangers picked to live in a house... There you go. So Gilligan, without uh, without Gilligan's Island, there will be no real world. So all of you fans of the Miz, uh, better be thanking Gilligan and his island, because that was the uh, that was the that was the precursor to the real world. Seven stranded castaways, seven strangers. Coincidence? Maybe I don't know. That's just a theory I got. There we go. I do love a Klebowski. I do love the Miz. I do love the Miz. Air date, uh, 1964, 1965, and 1966. Also precursor to Survivor. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You stopped uh, watching The Real World in 1995. It's been a long time since I've seen it, too. But I think it still comes on, probably. I'm not sure. Bet the professor could make some deviled ham out of a coconut. Probably. Probably could. That professor, him and them coconuts, man. I tell you what, he was doing the things. Yeah, Bob Denver. He played, uh, and he was also in uh, in Dobie Gillis. He played Maynard in Dobie Gillis, which is uh, a show that is uh, just as good as Gilligan's Island, if you ask me. 
but nobody asked me. So there we go. Hanging slide at ready for. Good to see you, my friend. You're just in time. Just in time for the animal of the day. Isn't that fantastic? Aren't you a lucky little boy? Just in time. Just in time. Precursor to loss. That's right, KP. That's right. No, he wouldn't MacGyver something. He built a radio out of nothing. Professor, he wouldn't. Without the professor, they, they all would have been dead. They all would have been dead. Weird Paul, all smooches for you. All right, here we go. Let's play, uh, let's see. Do the, uh, do this version. Yeah, let's do that one. Yes, indeed, yo, so ladies and gentlemen, the animal of the day, the green pepper. I actually had some green peppers yesterday. I made some stuffed green peppers uh, for dinner, and they were really good. Not a horrible creature. Was it an axolotl? Oh, my goodness gracious, weird Paul coming in hot with the axolotl <laughs> emote. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I love it. I don't know. Let's find out. Is it an axolotl? What could it be? One of you actually did guess it right. One of you actually did guess it right. Who could it be? Let's find out. Do you know about pigs in a blanket? Oh, I do. Oh, I love some pigs in a blanket. Oh, my goodness gracious. Drum roll, please. Let's find out what the animal of the day is. Can you make pigs in a blanket out of the animal of the day? Let's find out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the crocodile. The crocodile. Is the animal of the day. That's right. It is the crocodile, the animal of the day. It's got a couple gills, right? Does it, I'm not sure. Does, does a crocodile have gills? I'm not sure. Somebody's gonna have to. Somebody's gonna have to uh, to give to give that one a Google. Murder log. That's right. Merry Christmas. You were correct. You were correct. How is this not a horrible creature? Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just because. Uh, I live around here. Crocs have zero gills. No gills on the Crocs. No gills. No gills on the Crocs. No gills on the crocodiles. <laughs> Several animal experts have chimed in to let us know. Of all the living reptiles, the 12 modern crocodile, crocodilius sp 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 species are the largest. Like all reptiles, crocodiles breathe with lungs rather than gills. Aww. Isn't that adorable? They are adorable. There we go. This should totally be a horrible creature. It should it be a horrible creature though? I don't know. I don't know. I I mean I can see the argument. I can definitely see the argument to where a crocodile should be a horrible creature. A group of crocodiles is called a do not disturb and get the heck away. We are we're about to find out. They may look like they're smiling, but they ain't friendly. Do they have wings though? I'm not sure if they have wings. Do, do crocodiles have wings? Ring, ring. Yes, I'd like to order a large crocodile bite plate with a side of deviled ham. Oh, there you go. It eats people. It very rarely eats people. Very rarely eats people. It's a, it's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. It's a big old lizard thing that lives in a thing. I don't know. I mean, there is there is an argument to be made that is a, that it is a horrible creature. But I disagree. I think. That it is uh, just an animal. But it does eat people. Well, I mean, people eat people. Sometimes. I mean, you get hard up enough, it happens. You read that book? There's a children's book where crocodiles have wings. Oh, is it really? Well, then I don't know how to uh, to answer the prediction then. Because apparently they can have wings. But, in case you were wondering, a group of crocodiles is called a float. That's when they're in the water. A basque, that's when they're not in the water. Or a congregation, that's when they're in church, I guess. I'm not sure. Congregation. I, I do like congregation, though. I like a congregation. Look at that congregation of crocodiles. Isn't that something? Jeffrey Dahmer would be a horrible creature. Yeah, that's true. That is true. A pride. I, I do like a pride of crocodiles, though. 
The dingoes ate your people. Them dingoes ate your people. Gazooks a lamb biscuit. There we are, congregation. Could you imagine a crocodile, a, a church full of crocodiles? That'd be fun. That'd be fun. And then, and then the the crocodile, the crocodile gave unto them chickens and many chickens. And he saw that it was good, and then and then a bunch of crocodiles are like, <sighs> yeah, that's the, that's the sound that crocodiles make. Pokemon would have you think that crocodiles go crocodile, crocodile, but they don't. They go, <sighs> or they go chomp chomp. That's a good one. That's one that they do. Crocodile goes chomp chomp. That's what a crocodile says. And I'm glad that that nobody has been smart about this. And by smart, I mean like smart alecky. To say, oh, look. Oh, that's not a crocodile. That's a video of an alligator. Look at it. Let me tell you this. You, you know who you know who cares about the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? Nobody. Nobody cares about the difference between a crocodile and an alligator. Because if one of these gimmicks is swimming towards you, you're gonna be are you gonna be like, hey, are you a crocodile? Blah! No, because you're gonna get eaten. You're gonna get eaten. So it doesn't matter. Crocodile church of the shiny teeth. <laughs> <sighs> what has more bite for us a croc's jaws or sock cop's mouth flaps Ooh, i don't know that's true hump, 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 hump. Hump. chomp 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 nom 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 here give me some of those hearts let me nom on those things oh wait nom 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 chomp 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 I just want to throw a whole animal in its mouth. I'm sure it would appreciate that. I'm sure that the uh, the crocodile would appreciate that. Look at that thing. It is kind of a horrible creature. And the more I think about it, the more I'm like, maybe I should have played the horrible creature song. Kirk Hammett, everybody. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Why does Kirk Hammett come up when you search Devil Ham? It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. But, Dad Gummit, that's why I love the internet. <laughs> that's why I love it. Name the only famous cartoon crocodile. Oh, then it's all 999. I don't know. I think I immediately go to Wally Gator. But who is the famous cartoon crocodile? Who is the famous cartoon crocodile? I got to know. I gotta know. Billy F27, thank you so much, my friend. I love that. My good buddy Jeeves Stones made that for me. Very hot pepper. Very hot pepper. That's how you take a, uh, a green pepper and make it hot, my friends. That's how you do it. The one in Hook? Oh, that's true. Oh, Walligator is what I was thinking. Yeah, but he's an alligator. But to go back to what I said, who cares about the difference between an alligator and a, and a crocodile? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're starting to get into semantics. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just some sort of... That's some people... That's some people... They went to college and got a degree in figuring out the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. And they're out there, you know, banging the drum saying, oh, it's oh, it's an important difference between an alligator and a crocodile. Is there really? Is there real? I mean, is there? I mean, yeah, you can say, oh, well, 
the 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 crocodile has a more pointed thing and it's larger and it's a different color and blah 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 but those same people would say that a weenie dog and the and the rottweiler oh they're both dogs but then but then you get to sit there and jibber jabber to me about the difference between a crocodile and alligator and be like oh that's not a crocodile that's an alligator but stuff get out of here with that garbage get out of here with that garbage to those people i say Oh, you know what I'm saying? You got to pick your battles, people. Would you pick your battles for once? <laughs> Alligator and, and crocodile, who cares? Does not matter. Does not matter. Yes, both will chomp your behind. You ain't escaping either one if you get close. They both like to, Here's what they do. They grab onto you. They grab onto Do I have some? All right, I'm going to pretend. Pretend that I'm an alligator. We're going we're gonna to do a little. Uh, here's a little play for you. Here's a little play. Oh wait! Speaking of that gum, I forgot. I forgot to do something. Hold, please. Hold, please. Hold, please. I can't, I can't even. I can't even do the whole thing right. All right, there we go. Hold on. All right, there we go. I had to, I had to turn on the uh, I had to turn on the sock spear. I had to turn on the sock spear. Parkours. Parkours. Yes, the videos. Yes, the videos. Calicott, you got it going on. I just read about an alligator eating a dude in Alabama recently. Was it me? I hope not. But anyway, so here's what happens. All right, here's what happens. Here's what an alligator and or crocodile doesn't matter. Would you fix the the green screen? Looking like it's a dadgum Nintendo game over here. All pixely and whatnot. Anyway, all right, whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So what is the gator's natural enemy? Uh, I don't know. The guy who's hungry enough to hunt a gator, I suppose. So here's a fella. Here's, here's a guy. He's just He's just strolling along. Just having him a good old time out in the swamp. Just doing things. Hey, look at me. I'm out in the swamp. I sure hope no alligator and or crocodiles comes up and eats me. But I'm sure that won't happen. Because there we go. I'm, I'm fine. It's not a problem. Dooby 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 doo. And, and he's, just, uh, he's just doing the things. And then all of a sudden... Crocodile. Uh oh. Here comes a crocodile. Oh, you better watch out, fella. Here comes that crocodile. Doodoots. 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 The mailman hat. No, it's not a mailman hat. It's a hat just like mine. You see how we're twinsies? He's got the same hat as me. I guess he's a. He used to be a policeman back when he had skin and stuff. Doodoots. And then, and then the alligator does this. Whoosh, swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Crocodile, alligator, doesn't matter. You're getting rolled, buddy. Swoosh, swoosh, rolling, rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? Whammos. And that's how that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Alligators ain't got no hats. Well, usually, but they could have a hat if they wanted to. Alligator could have a hat if they wanted to. Thought crocodile didn't like his mail. <laughs> you brought me too many bills, mailman. Wrong. Wouldn't that be great? You brought me. Too many bills, mailman. Round. <laughs> there you go. That's a rewind for you. Bubba variant. Bubba variant. Smoches Fios. All right, there we go. Hey, check this out. You're not going to believe this. Oh, my goodness gracious. What are the odds? Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe this. What are the odds? Mailman? Get out of here, mailman. Bringing me all these bills and, and the bad news and the whatnots. Mailman don't ever bring me no checks. 
How you going to chomp him with no teeth? Louie, Louie, that's for me to know and you to... Figure out? <clears throat> I'm not sure. Pardon me. I don't know how I'm going to chomp him with no teeth. I have no idea. Look at this. You're not going to believe this. Today's VHS of the night, ladies and gentlemen. The Crocodile Hunter. Oh, my goodness gracious. What are the odds? The special edition. Steve Irwin, may he rest... Lord rest his zombie bones. The Crocodile Hunter. Collision course. I guess at one point, it cost $8.95. His first big screen adventure. The video is sitting... No, it's not sealed. It's not sealed. It has been opened. It has been opened. I actually bought this from a, uh, from a VHS store a couple of years ago that was going out of business. So this was a rental. See how it says, new release. And then it says, crikey. There's a sticker that says, crikey. Includes making of featurette. And you can enter to win. Focus on the dead gum sticker. Would you do something right for once? Enter to win for a chance. No, enter for a chance to win a trip to Australia. Australia, ladies and gentlemen. See, that's the kind of thing. When was the last time you saw a Blu-ray for sale that said, hey, if you buy this Blu-ray, you might get to go to Australia. That don't happen. That don't happen. It's theme night. I can't handle the organization. No, it just it's just happens things. That's just the way that it happens. I don't choose the animal today. It just shows up. And the VHS just it just descends. It just descends from the sky. So let's see. Uh, two thumbs up, says uh, Ebert and Ropa and the movies. Ebert and Ropa and the movies. Did I enter the way? I don't know. I got to see if there's like a if there's like a like a card or something. I got to send. Or maybe I got to send a, a self addressed stamped envelope so I can go to Australia and look at uh where Steve Irwin once stood or something. I'm not sure. I ain't going to Australia to get eaten by the crazy animals. They they do. They do have some crazy animals. No, it's not sealed. It's not sealed. See, see, it's hanging around. Whoops, the daisies. There we go. My review with this movie, what a load of crock, but in a good way. Ooh, I like that. At first, I was like, oh, no. And then I was like, oh, yeah. He died from another sea creature. Can he? Oh, yeah, the Stingray. Stingray got all the old Steve Irwin. What a shame. What a shame. They still run the Australia Zoo. Steve family started. Yeah, it's great. It is great. Klebowski. They have a uh, they have a crikiest the Irwin's TV show. On the Animal Planet, it's a Discovery, one of them channels, where they uh, where they go around uh, doing the animals and stuff. Stingray's got a few gears. Yeah, I think Stingray's got some gills with Paul. I believe so. I believe so. Let's see. Uh, the back of the movie says, Steve Irwin makes his big screen debut with his most perilous adventure yet to save a very large crocodile from poachers. Steve and his wife, Terry, set out on a death-defying journey through the outback to nab the big fella and relocate him to a safe river. But what they don't know is that the angry reptile has swallowed a top-secret U.S. satellite beacon, making them all targets of American special agents. Crikey! Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. They were selling me at the beginning of that. But, okay, so Steve... <laughs> so Steve Ir This movie... I've never seen this movie. But apparently, Steve Irwin and his wife are going after a large crocodile to protect it from poachers. But it turns out that that crocodile has swallowed a top-secret U.S. satellite beacon. And now they're the target of American special agents. See, I thought it was like a documentary type of thing. But uh, apparently they got they got actor crocodiles and stuff going. <laughs> I had no idea that it was so ridiculous. That's fantastic. Now I really want to watch this movie. What's going on, Ben Griffiths? Good to see you. It's my friend. Smooch's Views. Thank you so much for stopping by on the old Facebooks. Wow. 
He's luggage now. You could escape the CIA. Isn't that correct? No, that's what it says. That's what it says. Screenshot it and read it with your own eyeballs. That's what it says. The reptile has swallowed a top secret U.S. satellite beacon. The meal, I'm not your dad, dad gummit, but it's good to see you, son. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Crocky! And look, there's a lizard thing. There's like a monitor lizard or something like that hanging around. Presents a best picture show company slash Cheyenne. That's a pretty good name for a, the thing that makes movies. Best picture show company. That's a pretty good name. Because it, it, it sounds like you've won an award, even if you've never won an award. That's what it sounds like to me. But anyway, the runtime is an hour and 29 minutes. It is in color. It came out in 2002. So let's find out if Crocodile Hunter Collision Course is rewound or not rewound. Drum roll. Plazese. So let's find out if Crocodile Hunter Collision Course is rewound or not rewound. Crocky! Oi, Crocky! Crocky! Alright, <laughs> drum roll, please. Holy cow, holy cow, ladies and gentlemen, it is 100% rewound. 100% rewound. Crocodile Hunter Collision Court. And unfortunately, I will not get to watch this one because look, if you look closely, mold. Mold on the tape. Oh, what a sad state of affairs. What a sad state of affairs. Mold on the tape, ladies and gentlemen. What a sad state of affairs. But you know, it does have a sticker. Where's Where's the thing? Where's the thing at? Ain't nobody seen that garbage and never will now. Yeah, not this one. Yep, going right into the garbage. Demila, thank you so much, son, for doing the things. I just threw out like 150 tapes that have been in my basement for years. Many had tape. Oh, weird, Paul, I hate that. I hate the tape mold. I hate the tape mold. That's a terrible thing. Does everything uh, mold in Alabama? Pretty much. Pretty much. Most things uh, do mold. But it's from... Uh, Let's see. There we go. Oh, can you can you read the thing? Paul's value video in Loxley, Alabama. That's where it came from. That's where we, that's where I went and bought it. They were going out of business, and I bought a bunch of tapes from. Them. And some of them did have mold. Some of them didn't. Is tape mold the next horrible creature of the day? Oh yeah. Breathing in even a few microns of mold can give you hard times, Daddy. No, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. Paul's value video in Loxley, Alabama. And off it goes into the garbage. Into the garbage. There we go. Well, they're out of business now, so I can't return it. I can't return it. But I still have the I still have this. You won the sock points, Klebowski. Congratulations, my friend. Congratulations. But I still have this. Maybe, maybe on uh, on Thursday's show, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll paint on it. I can do something. Maybe we can do something with this. I don't know. We still have the case. I have it. I mean, I have a sticker that says "Crikey." I feel like I feel like that's worth something. I feel like that's worth not throwing away. You know what I mean? Get Steve to autograph it and sell it on eBay. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's a great idea. I'll just grab my Ouija board with included Sharpie and. Uh, and we'll get to Conjuring. And then off we go to eBay. Off we go to eBay. The sequel wasn't that good. I don't remember much. But, oh, get Club Josh TV. Get out of here with your garbage. Get out of here. I did yeet it. The only thing that is allowed to speed. Mold! Get out of here straight into the garbage. That's right. Yeah, I, I did yeet it. I yeeted it. Out of the, uh, I yeeted it right on out of here. <laughs> oh, man. I, lo I, I like the yeet. I like doing the yeeting every once in a while. Let's take a look. Did did anybody draw anything? Hey, there we go. We got a wall of gator. Hey, look, it's sock cop. Some sort of like graffiti thing. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You know a guy named Steve? Oh, that's cool. I knew a guy named Steve. He's still alive, so I guess I still know him. 
But I mean, I don't have his phone number or nothing like that. Wild Gator, there we go. How do you get these amounts of points? I have no idea. I don't really know how it works. I just click the buttons and, and things happen. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes and whatnot. So, there you go. Sitar, only have 39,000 sock points. Well, I'm not sure if that's a lot. I'm not sure if that's a lot. When did the, uh, the RSA tower get wrinkly? Oh, Ben Griffiths knows what's up. Yeah, it's a little wrinkly. A little wrinkly, I'm not sure. This is a picture of uh, downtown Mobile, Alabama. And it is a little wrinkly. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fix this thing before the next show, because it is all kind of catty wampus. I'm over here looking like I'm on some sort of public access thing, or something like that. Then it's all nine and nine redeem. Sing the chat six. <laughs> That's fantastic. There you go. You can also bet them during the stream to win more. That's true. I only have twenty four k, so that's a lot. Well, that is a lot. That is a lot. I did bend the moon pie. Yeah, the moon pie is right over there. Could they, wait? Can you see the moon pie in the uh, in the close up? No, not that one. And this one, the moon pie. Oh, it's over there. It's on that building, I believe. The one tall building in Mobile. Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's the tallest one. That gum, the stupid green. Anyways, there we go. It's around. It's around in that area. Is the moon pie that we drop on New Year's Eve? Allegedly, I've never gone down there and watched it. So I'm, I'm guessing it's real. It could all be CGI. I've never seen it in real life myself. So who knows? But it's all about the monies, baby. Yeah, there we go. Well, we didn't get any more uh, followers, but that's okay. Not a problem. Not a big deal. We still have Gilligan's Island on VHS. And we found out that Crocodile Hunter Collision Course was 100% rewound. 100% rewound. We're busting out of Well, you know, it's sort of like, uh, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? When will some big streamer wake up and rage you? Well, well you've, you've raided me a couple of times. That, that's helped out a lot. But it doesn't matter. I mean, honestly, honestly... It doesn't matter a whole lot. I mean, to me. I mean, obviously, when you're doing something like this, you want people to watch and you want people to enjoy and, and all that, you know, so the numbers and everything, it's all good and everything. But as long as long as you guys show up and we can jibber-jabber and have a good time, that's fine. That's fine. You know what I mean? Because if there was, you know, a thousand people or something watching, then a bunch of them would just be like, doodly doodly doots. And I'll be like, get out of here with your garbage. You know what I'm saying? See how I'm getting that here? But it's okay. But you were the mayor of Periscope. I was the mayor of Periscope. This is true. That is true. Which is sort of like being the, uh, I don't know, being like the king of Atlantis. It don't, it don't exist no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? And some people aren't even sure it ever existed to begin with. So there you go. Perhaps you need to try a hot tub stream. Maybe so. Maybe so. Just the but yes, exactly right, exactly right, and not complain about the production values. Well, <laughs> that's true, that is true. There are certain ways, uh, you know, that we could do it. Sitar, oh, Sitar said something and I missed it. What'd you say, Sitar? So well said. Uh, better to have one person watch and change their life than ten thousand who don't care if you live or die. Sitar, yeah, that's true. That's true. I do have a sauna, which is uh, not exactly a hot tub. But there we go. Any living mailman in Australia? That, I'm sure there's a few. <laughs> I'm sure there's a few mailmen in Australia doing the things. Who knows? Who knows? Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Did we have a good time, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, yeah! I said, did we have a good time, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I had a good time. Only the best OGs still show up. I love it. Yeah, and remember. No, I, li I like you guys. I like you guys. You're, just, you're, you're, you're good. Just like Mr. Rogers said, I like you. Just the way that you are. From nothingness comes rainbows. Now, that's deep right there. That is deep. Aww. It makes the crickets go. There was no need for the crickets there. Better mood, but still bad. Well, <laughs> I did the best that I could. Just the blow hard. I did the best that I could. Oh, yeah. Dig it, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Well, there we go. Sock Hop loves you, ladies and gentlemen. 
and we'll see you here on uh, on Thursdays. Thursdays is the day that uh, that we get weird, and maybe we'll do some. Uh, maybe we'll paint. Maybe we'll do some more paintings and stuff like that. Oh yeah, raid. We got to raid somebody. Who are we gonna raid? Who are we gonna raid? I just got followed by Mister McFreely on Twitter. Oh, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Brief stupid. Missing my uh, Magnum PI date with the missus. All right, smooches for you, Spin Griffiths. Smooches for you. Who is uh? Who is, hey, Mama Joe, Vrama Joe, Mama Joe, Vrama Joe. We ain't ready them in a uh, in a hot minute. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go hang out with Mama Joe, Vrama Joe. Billy F twenty seven smooches. I love used to. Love used to. Enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. The animal of the day is the crocodile. So if you run into a crocodile, uh, run the other way. Hey, what happened? All right, anyway. There we go. And a group of crocodiles is called a float, a basque, or a congregation. So we got that going for us. All right, smooches for you. Sockop loves you. If you go into bed and not going to, uh, to join Mama Joe for Mama Joe, allow me to uh, to tuck you into bed. A tuck, 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 tuck. Smooches for you. Mwah. Yes, indeed. And uh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of rusty rusty gazoo free of charge on the way out. Here we go. Haven't had enough to drink for Mama Joe for Mama Joe. Dennis R nine nine nine. I understand. I understand. I understand. A little bit of rusty kazoo on the way out, ladies and gentlemen. Smooches for you. Sockop loves you. <gasps> and now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.